you really want to know that how to hide certain fields from a particular user in Salesforce? So let me help you out with that. You can do that easily using field level security. So here I am presenting you the second level of security, not the second one. Third level of security in Salesforce, which is field level security. Uh, we have already discussed the two levels, the two earlier levels and there's a link down in the description. Just hit that link. Watch that, those videos if you haven't watched them yet. First one was organization level security and the second one was object level security. Now comes the third level security which is field level security. So let's start with it. Now let's see at the third level of security which is field level security by the definition mentioned over here. Field level security controls whether a user can see and edit the value for a particular field on an object. Yes. This is what actually field level security does. Let's take an example. There is an object, uh, there is an object X. There are fields like name or, or you can say there is an ob there is a lead object. And on that lead object, there are multiple fields like uh, number of employees, company, uh, annual revenue, email, um, name. And like there are multiple, multiple fields over there. You want all the fields, like you have created the, all those fields just to track the information about a particular lead. But there is a restriction over there. You want only some users to have access to the email address mentioned on that record. But you want some other users to also have access to that lead record but without that email field or without that contact number or phone number field. In that situation you will implement field level security so that these users who do not need to have access of email and phone number uh, like to, to them we can hide those fields and those who need the access for these fields we can give them access with the help of field level security. I know you must be thinking that we can do that using page layouts also. Why do we need to use field level security? So let me understand how you're gonna do it and how that is bad for you. Okay, uh, if you want to uh, like secure the fields using page layouts what you will do is you'll create two page layouts. On the first one, you'll put the fields email and phone number uh, for the users who like to whom you want to show the values of those fields. And you'll create another page layout in which you'll not put those fields email and phone number uh, because you like do not and well, because you do not want to show those fields to these types of users. And you'll assign both of these page layouts to different different profiles or different different users. But I mean like okay it will not be visible on a page layouts or uh, that uh, like that controls the detail page and edit page of a record but it will not control the list views what if if they see that fields value on the list view what if they see that fields value on the search results what if they see that fields value on related lists what if they see that value if you are uh, if you have created a visual force page what if then like you cannot control uh, that fields value until unless you have uh, like implemented field level security. You can control it using page layouts but page layouts are only restricted to detail and edit page of that record only. They do not control the other areas. And if you want to control all the areas uh, in which the fields value get uh, like can get uh, like can get displayed then in that situation you have to have to implement field level security. There is no other way out of it. So let's see what the second point is. It secures the visibility of fields in any part of the app including related list you can like impl by implementing field level security uh, if you have like not shown this field to these types of users in that situation uh, they'll not be able to see it in related lists also page layouts also and list views also reports also yes obviously they'll not be able to see that fields value in reports also I mean uh, but if you have hidden that field or if you haven't put that field on the page layout they can see it on reports also so like implementing uh, like Implementing this using field level security, you will be able to hide it from the reports also and search results which cannot be secured through page layouts. So this is all what I am going to tell you about field level security. Now let's see that how we will implement field level security and at what levels it gets implemented. Field level security can be controlled at two levels. One is profiles and another one is permission sets. And if you do not know what profiles and permission sets is, then there is a link down in the description for object level security. Go over there watch that out and just teach yourself just learn as much as you can and then come back to understand field level security so uh, in field level security we can uh, like set that whether the user can see the field whether the user can edit the field or whether the user does not have any access read or edit access for that field we can control all those things in profiles and permission sets for every object every 
field we can do that uh, but like there are some limitations that i'm going to cover in the last part of my video which is important point that you need to remember with field level security so now let's see that what example we are going to take to understand field level security and then i am going to give you a demo uh, explaining that how to implement the field level security in salesforce now let's see an example to understand field level security very well so here's a complete example here's an object lead in which we have two fields phone and email that uh, like on which we want to set the field level security so we have uh, three profiles in our org one is of manager another one is of employee and third one is of front desk executives and there are two two users in every profile so to manage the profile we want to give full access that is they can view the field also in uh, in the record which they have access to and they can edit that field value also so both of these users will have access to uh, like I mean, both of these uh, users will be able to edit and view the field of uh, like of the record which they have access to on that lead object and uh, like to in employee profile these are the two users and in employee profile i only want them to have uh, an access to view the field view the field phone and email they cannot edit these fields only manager can edit these fields employees can only see the field value that that is they can see the, the that uh, that that is they can see that uh, in this lead record what is the value of phone and what is the value of email Whereas in this third profile, we do not want to give any access. They should not view this field, and they, like obviously, if they are uh, not like the field is not visible to them, how will be the how will they be able to edit it? So like we are not giving any access to these uh, these users, both of these users according to this profiles. And let's talk about permission sets. Permission sets are always used to uh, grant additional access. I have explained it in the earlier video also. If you haven't watched it yet, there's a link down in the description. Go to that video, watch that video and come back to watch this video. So uh, in permission sets, what we give is we give additional access. So let's take an example. Uh, let's say we want this user and this user. Access to uh, phone and email field and access of uh, editing this field value. They do not have the like this user cannot see the field yet and this user cannot edit it but he can see it so if you want to give them additional access what we'll do is we'll create a permission set and over there we'll grant access to view the field and to edit the field also and then we'll assign this permission set to this user and also to this user using this they'll be able to edit and view the field of lead object which is phone and email which they cannot do with their profiles but they can access that field using their permission sets whereas this user and this user still have the same access which comes from their profiles hope you have understood now let me go back to my computer and explain you how you you're gonna implement this example on your salesforce org so let's go now let's see that how we're gonna define field level security according to the uh, presented example over there over, uh, like on which we had three profiles manager employee and um, front desk and we'll set different different field level securities uh, for lead objects phone and email field on these profiles so for that uh, we'll simply like go to setup and into setup we'll type in profiles like this and we'll go to profiles over here uh, like i mean profiles are already created uh, all, all the three profiles which are employee manager and the third one is front desk as you can see over here um, here is the front desk profile and here is the employee profile and here is the manager profile so for manager we want to uh, I mean on manager we will click on manager profile manager should be able to see as well as edit the uh, phone and email field on lead object so for that we will simply scroll down over here and uh, like over here we can see the field level security column and like section in this section we'll go to that object of which we want to set the field level security currently we want to set the field level security of lead object so we'll simply go to lead object over here and click on view after clicking on view as we can see uh, like uh, like here is the field level security for all the fields we'll simply click on edit and here is the email field uh, it's already read like uh, this pro the users of this profile will all all like will already had already has read access on email so it's checked 
and they already has uh, has edit access on email so it is already already checked and same goes for the phone both of them are checked so it's as it is we will leave it as it is and we'll uh, edit the field level security on employee profile and front desk profile on the employee profile what we need to do is we'll simply go back to profiles and in employee profiles what we need to do is we basically uh, i mean want employees to see the field to have the read access but they cannot edit that field value so again i'll go to employee profile and in this employee profile i'll go to field level security section and in the lead object view and then i'll click on edit and uh, now i'll remove the edit access of email field for employee profile like this so they'll only be able to read this field's value and same goes for the phone we'll set it as read only we'll not give edit access on this field to them now we'll click on save and again for front desk we'll go to profiles Over here, as you can see, uh, here is front desk profile. We'll click on it. We'll go to field level security section, and then again the lead object. We'll click on edit. Okay. Uh, over here, as you can see, email field is both readable and editable for these profiles. We'll remove both the access for them, and same goes for the phone field. That's it. This is how you set field level security on profiles. And uh, like, I mean, now the users on front desk profile will not be able to see the records. Uh, like, see the they'll be they'll be able to see the records, but they'll not be able to see the field value of email and phone field. And whereas employees can view the field values, but they cannot edit it. Whereas managers can view and both uh, like they can both view and edit the field values of email and phone field. So this is how it actually works uh, over here in profiles and uh, like what if I uh, want some of my users to have uh, additional access uh, given granted from their profiles. So in that situation, I'll simply go to permission sets like this from setup and I'll create a new permission set like this uh, field additional access. Lead, and I'll simply click on save. Now in this permission set, I'll go to object settings like this, and then I'll go to the object on which I want to edit the field level security. I want to edit leads, leads object level security, and in this I'll click on edit. Now uh, over here we can see all the fields available over here. Uh, but what we want is we want phone and uh, email field to be readable and editable for uh, some of the users in our organization uh, who really do not have that uh, that much access uh, from their profile. So we'll simply set the like uh, additional access which we want to provide them over here. And we'll click, simply click on save. Um, it doesn't matter that you haven't given the access for other fields or the object as a, as a whole because uh, like that permission is already provided to them from their profile level. Permission sets do not hide the uh, permissions the users have from their profile. They simply add uh, extra permissions or they simply uh, extend the permissions for them. So after saving it, I'll click on manage assignments. To assign this permission set to the users who really need the access for it, I click on Add Assignments, and over here you can see all the list of users I have in my organization. I'll simply select uh, all the users to whom I wanna assign this. Uh, I mean, assign this permission set, and simply click on Assign. Done. Like this. Okay. Uh, it, it's only only assigned to a single user, Paul, uh, because like the user record was not active. If you make the user record active, it will be assigned to uh, the another user also. So this is how it actually works: profiles and permission sets. And 
like I mean this is how you completely set a field level security but it it can be a little difficult for you to set field level security of each and every field of each and on each and every object for each and every profile so for that we have uh, one more thing in our uh, in, in salesforce to set field level security and that is field accessibility in field accessibility we can set the uh, like we can simply set the field level security for a single field on different different profiles on a single page let's see how okay uh, i'll go to lead after clicking on field accessibility on setup and i'll click on field view by pro, uh, view by fields and then i'll select email field and as i can see uh, like employee profile only has read only access front desk is hidden so i mean I have just selected a field on an object, and I can see what access different different profiles has on this uh, field of lead object. So, if I want to change any of one, like for marketing profile, I want to change this. I'll click on this, and then I'll make it read only. That's it. So it will also be uh, read only for them, like this. Hope you have understood. Now let's get back and see what important points do you need to consider when field level security. After looking at the demo, you must have understood that how to implement the field level security. But there are still some important points that you need to take care with the field level security. So let's see what they are. The first one is universally required fields appear on edit pages regardless of the field level security. Yes, obviously, because what universally required uh, means is that. Uh, whenever a record gets created this fields value should be there so like whenever you create a universally required field and if the user uh, like has the access to create a record or to edit and record this fields value will be available over there and even you cannot edit this fields uh, field level security on profiles and permission set so you don't need to worry about it but you need to take care of this uh, take care of this point also and then comes the second point which is Roll up summary and formula fields are read only on detail pages and not available on edit pages and they can also show the field values of reference fields that user can't see. Okay, so uh, what that actually means is that roll up summary fields and formula fields are basically read only fields. Uh, they, they like we cannot edit them. So, uh, so I mean they cannot be seen on the edit pages. They can only be seen on the detail pages. But there's one more thing with roll up summary fields and formula fields. Basically with formula fields. That if formula field is referencing another field, uh, fields value, and it's showing that fields value, and if you have uh, hidden that field from a particular user, it's not necessary that this formula field, which is referencing that field, uh, will also get disappeared or will also be not shown to that user. This is not happening over here. If you want to hide the field value of this field, which is referencing in the formula field, you need to hide both of these fields. It's not uh, inherited that if you hide this field and if this field's value is used in a formula field, that formula field will also be uh, hidden for that user. It doesn't happen. It happens. It never ever happens. So these are these all are the important points that you need to take care with the field level security. Now. Implement field level security in your Salesforce or to assure your business owner or the CEO of your company that not every user has access to every data in the org which they are putting in. So wrapping that up, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button over here with the bell icon to get the notification whenever a new video gets uploaded every week because I create a video every week related to Salesforce because I'm a Salesforce Hulk man and uh, like if you are watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn, there's a link down in the description. Just hit that link, go to the YouTube channel, watch other videos. Uh, if you like the video, just hit like button. If you have any thoughts, comments or suggestions, just uh, make sure to comment over there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button. See you next week. And let's go back to